somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there is Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're all incredibly excited because we're checking out the fall of the House of Usher. This is episode six, Gold Bug. And man, the last episode was incredible. You could probably say that about every single one <laughs> if you get done watching them and go on to the next. But the series is easily the best in the Flanniverse for me. So I can't wait to get to it. Good old Flanniverse. Glad to be a part of it. Goldbug, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see what happens with Tamerlan. I just wonder what's going to happen to Bilt. I was shook after the last <laughs> one. Shake, shaken, shook, shaken. Not stirred. Uh, absolutely. All the above. Uh, messed up. Got me good more than any of the other episodes, so I'm uh, curious to see. How I'm going to manage this one. <laughs> I wish I didn't read the description. I'm pretty sure this is Tamerlane show. Oh. Let's go! Let's go, Samantha. You <laughs> can't wait. Look at that closet. Uh -oh. How is a mosquito alive? <laughs> Get ready, Dave. Oh! Oh! Well, she, she fell, fell asleep, asleep again. I like how they did that. I didn't have Yeah. Look at that master bedroom. Ooh, double doors. <laughs> you could, uh oh. You could wake up every morning like Aragorn. <laughs> That's. Or you could get large furniture in. <laughs> oh, you're just thinking of it that way. Oh, oh I love this. That was great. Oh, and it's not even there. Oh, oh. This is so damn good. It's gone. I thought she was going to spill it. Huh. Oh. At this point, oh, I'd be like, all right, wow, I think I'm going to go sleep. She is losing it. Oh, Bill. <laughs> or built. Oh, what the hell? There she was. Bill not here. You know, the way they write this, I'm always wondering like if every piece of artwork means something on the walls or whatever. Yeah, I like to uh, go back and watch it a few times yeah. and see if it had meaning, like little Easter eggs. Uh, oh, look at these mirrors, guys. Guard? Wow. It's awfully vain of somebody. <laughs> oh, of this walk look, through. Look, like I'm leaning, like it's <laughs> yeah. change the way I see things. Trying to see the other oh, side. Oh, this is where we get a jump scare. They haven't given us one in a few episodes. We're due. Yeah, but where did that box come from? A little, little treat. <laughs> oh. oh! Wait, that one wasn't bad. Here's where they get us with the real one. There's nothing in it. Tamerlane, you've got to sleep. <laughs> oh, jeez. And all the cocktails. A little bit of melatonin, a little bit of Ambien. There's no way you witnessed these events. So what is this, your best guess? This is what happened. How could you know that? I know because they told me. Oh. Queen Tusrit, actually. Pharaoh of Egypt, 19th dynasty. What's Why is he all bloody? Here? Priceless. Madeline said before she wanted eyes. With my pocketbook and some patience. Does that make me a god? Don't all answer at once. Oh. Oh. Uh. Did you remove it yourself? I was going to have an intern do it, but this was faster. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. She did it herself. I saw Victorian push the knife into her own heart. That family firewall you've always talked about is being dismantled. One brick. Oh. What time is it? Sunrise. That's what time it is. <laughs> Around the throat of every board member by lunch, tell Pim to summon the troops and spin up the circle. I'm taking the war to the shareholders. The woman, Roderick. The board, Madeline. The board. Wild. <laughs> There's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's that's the, the ligatone or whatever she's on. Ligatone. Yeah, but look how much she's taking. Because she's so dependent on it now. It looks like ten of them. Ten? It looked like more than ten. Oh, here's the news. 
Dad, an outpouring of support by the couple's friends and colleagues. On oh my course. God! That's how they find out? <laughs> wow. And confusion. I guess we'll have to go to another funeral. Dad. Oh Jesus! That's his reply. Yeah. Your uncle Leo. Your aunt Camille. They're all going your in uncle order. Your uncle Perry. The youngest to oldest. We're right. None of them. Not completely ushers either. The only thing that matters. <laughs> what? All that matters is mommy. Because I feel like all I've ever done is try to work on our marriage, and all you've ever cared about is our brand. Exactly. Her brand. Ooh. Up, Bill. You leave with the clothes on your back, if that. <laughs> She's so good. We can be about health and about beauty, and the Usher name is more than just Roderick and Madeline. And I'm scared of Bill. I was never there. Jeez. Or did he fall asleep again and he left? He was never there. He was never there. Oh, oh he, he lost the keys. keys. Ah, look at that. Oh, he was there. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Matthew McConaughey Lincoln commercial. Mm -hmm. I was thinking Inception. Do you see them too? Oh, they're there. Daydreams. Because I'm not sleeping at night, but that's that's an edge. Oh, so Grandpa's a wreck too. <laughs> it's been quite a week. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Everyone needs a lawyer like him or Saul. Oh. Probably more. We're ready him. for you in here, Mr. Pen. <laughs> Hard drives, laptops. Oh. oh, the license. You conclude your business here by seven. Mr. Usher welcomes you into his daughter's home, but his patience isn't endless. Stay out of the other rooms. Tell him I might be late. Yes, sir. Well, now he's got the ID. This is real mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, but it's the ID problem won't. Perry, all of it, all this madness is just weird to me. I guess all these terrible things, and I thought it's when people come together. Not this. Never been further apart. Man, not this family. Be really part of something, you know? <clears throat> just tell him I came by if you talk to him before I do. Just cold. Yeah, I thought maybe the walls might break down because she, she, the way she said there's, before. They're starting to. Yeah, uh, her facial expression. <clears throat> yeah, same. It is. In an easy class. What about the Dow, Japan, hell, Germany? <laughs> <laughs> Preventing environmental catastrophe, saving entire economies. But if we can crack consciousness mapping, it's about living per ever. Oh, that's what she wants. Boom. Oh. Now we're going to get her story. Things are escalating. Mads living forever. Asian file at Vix. There was a photograph attached. It was her. Her. Your favorite bartender. This is intentional. You have been targeted. And this woman knows we are is trying to find the her. The original founder of uh, Fortunato's house. It looks like that same street. Yep. No, it's, that's it their house. Oh, that's their house. And did he find her? How much do you know about Arthur Pym? I expect he's the kind of man you call if you, I don't know, accidentally kill a prostitute and need to dismember the corpse. <laughs> oh, he's not nearly that boring. I oh, that's boring? <laughs> that's boring? <laughs> He was barely 25. He put law school on hold to elbow his way onto the expedition, and he saw the world. In a galaxy far, far away. Mm. Used to be a fun game when the kids grew up, trying to finish Arthur's story. I like to think he's eaten human flesh. I like to think he took a piss on the tip top of the world. <laughs> Guy can dream. <laughs> <laughs> the earth was hollow. And I don't even know if he was lying. God, I'm just waiting for him to see how... I watched most of it on TV. I remember it well because I was unemployed at the time, thanks to you. Oh, God. don't don't be bitter, Augie. 
At this point, isn't it all just water under the... Oh, oh Jesus, that <laughs> slightly got me. Good Lord, that was the car all over again, but just way less. <laughs> that didn't get me oh. that good. Okay. Who's this going to be? Tamerlane. Oh, yeah. It's got to be. Because we're getting a little insight to her. I'm going. guessing, I think I know how what happened then. She... Car? Yep. On the neck, you see that? Car accident? That's what, I'm, the black, that's what I'm guessing. Oh! The black hair. It's just the lighting. Yeah, those nails. Roderick. After that, he's got to start thinking, like, asking, like, what is going on yeah. with you? You've, yeah, you've, yeah. you've done this, like, five times. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. It's risky. Yes, it, it is. I won't deny it looks that. looks like a young Jessica Chastain. And obviously anything that has your signature on it that you know you didn't sign, those are bulletproof. You testified that they're forged, and each piece of paper is a felony. You'll be breaking the law. They are breaking the law. That's what, now we're getting reference mm -hmm. to what, all oh, back in the basement of Fortunato days. <laughs> Tell me you know the risk. And I'll be there with you. I'll back you up. Just this is worth the risk. You know, the one thing I'm just now noticing is we got a lot of time with his first wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I know that was the foundation for a lot of stuff, yeah. but oh, that's a nice <laughs> shot. Yeah, they're doing just like the that. Printer, just the printer lights going to town. Look at the address. Doesn't make any sense. We're past that now. Look. <laughs> well, the location you gave me isn't a bar. It was never a bar. And it's been vacant since 1975. Potentially looking at those cameras. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's... David Koch, seven years ago. Oh, uh, wait, she... She was working with him. The toxic twins. We always got along with those fuck nuts. <laughs> and Zucky, Zuckerberg. too. What? She got into all of them. Oh, that's how all the famous people, wealthy people oh, made it. was from her. Hey, hey, no. She's a trip. She's a great singer, too. Yeah. Oh, Everybody. Oh. Everybody. Oh, I didn't see who that last one was. Oh, she in the background. Oh, wait. Is that... This is from the 80s. Get it. <laughs> oh, see? She's been going all the way back. I pushed 1944. In the 40s, it's always been her. Never changed. Randolph Hearst. Rockefellers. Oh. Yep. That's John Francis Queenie. He founded Monsanto in 1901. Bullshit. Oh, it was just like that. Give me three minutes, I'll give you a photo of Pim blowing Elon Musk. <laughs> Why? Or it is exactly what it looks like. I need the room, please. You may have it. Just listen to Madeline. <laughs> it's, it's all right there. Mm -hmm. well, he's in denial. So yeah, well, well, yeah, maybe he doesn't want to let them know that he's... Was she Agreed. there in the room? Because all the shit he's seeing. What was that? Is that Frankenstein? Love. <laughs> She's talking. What? You know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Full time care, but. Well, I haven't seen anybody. Well, like you said, she's doing so much better now, so they come when they're needed. Oh, Oof. my God. Uh. Your mom is going to get what she needs, and who better to take care of her than us, right? Uh, no. A professional. Yeah. So good to her, haven't we? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. He's losing it, too, now. Self-destructing all over the place, but you're going to be okay. So. I'll make sure of it. This is his way of getting back at her, and it's the yep. most distasteful way to do it. Mm -hmm. And morally wrong, of course. <laughs> Did he just really yes to bowling? Oh, he yeah. wants her to look at what she used to look like. Yeah, he's going to... Oh, he's... I think it's neat that you can talk again. Don't get me wrong. 
<gasps> See what I mean? Oh, yeah. no. He's going to 86 her. He's been trying. Where you fuck? <sighs> Perry got exactly what he wanted. Yep. No. 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 The daughter's got to walk in. No. 15 cc's lasted, what, about six hours last time? Oh, to knock her out. You were aware the whole time, right? I mean, it's important that you were aware. Oh. Yep. She just can't react. As she said it, she wasn't even twitching or anything last time. Yep. <laughs> this stuff. That's the only stuff I know that can do that this well. <sighs> you still see me, right? What a piece of shit. Because right now, she seems more interested in pulling this family out of nosedive than you do. And you should back her up. I'll be up. I don't know. Do you hear that? Hear what? Bells. <laughs> Jimmo, get your shit together. The f*** is wrong with you. <laughs> your daughter needs you. She's fine. She's surrounded. How many people are up there anyway? A hundred? I love how that center is a different color yep. than what's around. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, so look at the clothes she's wearing. That's what we saw her bust through yep. the window in. Sure. Yep. If it's so important, then where is Dad? Where's Bill? Men are as stupid as they are simple. They're better off. <laughs> <laughs> Your face in front of the gold bug logo. Your face in front of the Fortunato logo. Not built a fitness dork. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pat. <laughs> well, darling, I promise you that because whatever it is you think you miss, you can get it anywhere. I thought I missed him, but it was just his temporary insanity. This burp. <laughs> it was fun to ride. Boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. You ready? Of course she is. Okay, I'll give them a five-minute warning, then I'll introduce you, and you'll cue the video. Well, in fairness, Roddy has not <laughs> wanted to F, and he's on his deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really wish you wouldn't have said that. You know, when they showed that the room, there was a, like a wall of glass, mm -hmm. and they just showed it for a second. Well, because I think it's all windows. the TV screens and stuff, too. They could... Well, no, it's the, there's the screens behind Measure her, but the wall Pleasure to introduce the founder of Goldbug, uh -oh. Asher. Oh, she fell asleep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am so grateful that we're all... Oh, it's going to be Verna. Great. Goldbug, as you will yes. see tonight. 100%. Of opulence in self What are you doing here? Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh whoops. Oh, well, that's a great oh, start. I think oh. the I think the first oh. iPhone launch went something like that. Yeah, didn't it? Did it? <laughs> yeah, we all remember Steve Jobs doing that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean what the f <laughs> <laughs> We are here to change lives, and that is what the f we are doing here. Oh, this guy. They, they took this word for word from Steve Jobs. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Gosh, she almost looks like a creepy doll with all that makeup on. Man. Or Peloton. It is a lifestyle and it will actually change your life. She knows all the words. And self actualization. That is what we are all about, but more than that. Let's start with our gold bug boxes. Oh, she's gonna open it. Oh boy. Yep, this, this is gonna be bad. It's different from anything else on the market because of our focus on individuality. No two boxes are the same because no two people. Pe oh, here we go. Are the same. I, I agree. Mm. We've a uh, contract. <laughs> she's trying to help. And uh, items found in our gold bug boxes are not generally available. Oh, do you think the next one's going to be Verna or something? Yeah, something's going to happen. Just for me. It is tailored. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Camera just. French energy oil. 
made with black diamond truffle <laughs> extra. What kind of snake oil shit is this? <laughs> I don't know how I look, but I feel 10 years younger. All right. <laughs> Algae and South Sea pearls. This moisturizer is... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> look under your assigned seats and find what we have built for you. Watch. Mine's full of poo. <laughs> <laughs> Bug boxes are 100% organic. Burn oh, yes. Okay, tonight is about positive reinforcement. I've been stressed out. Oh boy. Like I'm not asking Turn you to do the dishes. Oh. Turn it off. Oh, wait. No, nothing's really yeah, playing. No. Look oh, for an asshole why should they don't. <laughs> They're not seeing it. <laughs> Uh, but Bummy is not choked. Oh. Is this how it's gonna happen? Yep, right on stage, dude. Yeah! Oh! oh! I'm sorry. I did... Oh! It's over. Oh, what? With the mic stand. Dude, I actually thought it was someone coming up. That's why I kind of jumped at first, because I thought she was actually going to take out somebody that was walking yeah. to the stage. I am right here. Oh, oh, sweet. That was badass. That oh, was that cool. was cool. <laughs> so now Roddy Usher's wife is gone, too. Oh, oh that's she's, throw she's aging. That, that's what she was always afraid of was no, aging. No, remember when they walked in the bar? Yeah, yeah, they had hands. This, the, the stuff on their oh, hands. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. that is. Yeah, okay. Whew. So much going on here. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that was intense. Hello? Oh, oh she's taking the call. Nice. Uh, it, it, it was awful. I... I, I don't know what happened. She's going to run right through the window trying to tackle her. I am so sorry, Bill. <laughs> well, remember her. Yeah. It's her neck that's. Mm -hmm. She's going to go through the window, through the glass, and then fall and break her neck falling. You still got time. I'd be surprised because she wasn't mutilated like Leo was yeah. from falling from the window. That would be so much easier. Oh. Wouldn't it? oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. Here we go. Oh, that's, a, that's a deep one. You really f this one up, didn't you, Tony? Oh, 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 Berta. Been in the womb. That's hardcore. Hats off. Didn't know that story, I don't think. Maybe I've been living all this time shoved to a dark corner of your skull. Oh. Years growing tiny little tendrils into your brain. Last of Us? What I want is for you to relax. <laughs> I mean it. Oh, well, she fell on the glass. Oh, that hook is going to oh, get her. Oh, yeah. But John McClane. I was just going to say. Hurting yourself. Mm, yeah. yeah. See, Not keep true. swinging away like that. I think that hook is going to get herself in the neck. Yep. Yeah. I thought you preferred to watch. Oh. You're so tough. Then why are you so f***ing scared of me? Tammy. <laughs> Look at the way that hook's positioned, yep. man. Well, normally you would. Me! Honey. <laughs> no one can take being shot down this morning. It's gonna be the one on the bed. Mirror on the back. <laughs> mm. And if you could hear that, you'd know. It's your last chance to be perfectly still and breathe before the inevitable. It doesn't have to be violent. Oh, oh she's... Uh. Sweetie. Oh, up. There's, there is one above the bed. I f it all up. I f it all up. I f it all up. I just... I just want... Some sleep. Yep, here it comes. Oh, and it's going to fall. Oh, look at that shot. going to fall on her. Right in her throat when she lands flat. Yep, look at all this stuff going up. Wow. Oh. 
Oh, what an amazing shot. Oh, oh, that's the big one. Oh. Here comes the rest. Oh, oh, that's a big one there. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that's the end. What? Is there going to be a sound of broken glass now? Yeah, let's hear it. Nope, no, just oh, music. Just the, the piano. <laughs> that's the late uh, Miss Roderick Usher will no longer be able to play. Assuming she's She was. Gone. Oh, my God, yeah. You, know, you guys start. I'm just, All right. I, I, I'm just kind of... I, I love these. that. Uh, I love that she was so obsessed with Goldbug. Like, it just it overtook everything. Mm -hmm. and, and we kind of saw that with you know a few of the things where with what the Usher kids were working on, it was like their their total obsession. They, you know, like with Vic, with the heart uh, device. And, and this was hers. This was... Tamara's. She was after after the fitness uh, and health thing, which is funny because you know all this talk and all this hype she had about it. She was so worried about it, and at the end of the day, it was just another subscription box service. Really, yeah, with, yeah. With the health thing kind of thrown into it, so that was kind of funny. But man, her acting in here, my goodness, just so good. And and I was wondering, I'm like, because you know they showed all those mirrors in her house earlier on in the episode, and I was just like, that's really strange that you know you would have that many mirrors yeah, like mirrors, just right. in a hallway and all these different places. Now, granted, she had a little bit different lifestyle than what might be normal, so maybe the mirrors played into that. I don't know, but that was very strange the way they had them in the hallway like that. So, just a fantastic episode. I. I don't know if I want to say because I don't think I want to spoil these guys, but I think I figured out the connection with the bells. And I don't know if you guys did or not with what Roddy's hearing in the basement with the bells. Answer, maybe you got it. Nope. I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm excited if what I think I is going to happen with the bells, if I'm right. Uh, no spoilers in the comments, obviously. But I would just, this is just such a fun ride to take. You try to figure everything out. It's Mike Flanagan. You think you know something, and then you're completely wrong, and it goes the absolute other direction. It's just so fun. This has been another banger of an episode. Well, we saw that, again, you know, Tam was given chances, was given chances to apologize to Bill, to to run it on her own. To, and she tried everything to get some sleep, but also that scumbag Roderick, or Froderick. Froderick. Put, pumping whatever drug that was into into his wife so that way she wouldn't freaking move uh Morella, uh, Usher, uh, Crystal, yep. uh, Belen is the actress, and yeah, just so that she would be immobile. Comatose. Only yeah, all she can really do is blink, and like you guys hoped, and so was I, hoping that the daughter would come and make the save. Hopefully, she eventually does, but we're eventually gonna hopefully see the the demise of Frederick's. So maybe you know the daughter. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, he's the only one left. Yeah, yeah. He's he's the oldest, so hence he should be last, hopefully, but. This is was a really fun episode. Um, we saw that you know uh, Ruth that plays Juno. She's very you know lonely in the house. It's so big and everything. And yeah. how much you know Roderick is always busy and doesn't have time for her. And so you lot you we thought we were gonna see the walls on Tam come down just a little bit, which they did. But then they went right back up. And then of course she went psychotic in her yeah. presentation. But yeah, such a fun episode, and oh man, I, there's two left, so I cannot wait. You know, they they reveal so much earlier on in the episode, and yeah. then they hit us with, Whoa, with all this all crazy the stuff at the end. You almost forget about what happened earlier. Like I like, saw the mirror him. obviously on the headboard, but I did not see it above really? until the end. And then it's like, okay, well, yeah, we kind of know what's going to happen. Yeah. There. We're wondering too if it was going to happen at the event. Yeah, especially when she started smashing the TVs. Yeah. Well, what I found the most interesting about this whole thing is Madeline was able to see her at that mm, event. Yep. That's I what I found really, really interesting because Roderick's been able to see her at, and he's seen uh, obviously the kids after they passed, but Roderick's been able to see her. Yeah, at the church. And, 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 and the fact that she saw her there in person and she just disappeared. And I love the way they had her look at their hands because remember in the very first episode, or not the, I think it was the first episode when they came into the bar, yes. their hands, if I recall... Mm -hmm. Were, were dirty, um, which was interesting. But I mean, this episode was uh, another one that's wild. I'm, I'm like, I'm, 
I'm probably overthinking, but you know, I'm, I'm wondering if like each one of the passings, and I know they're they're based on stories, right? But I'm also like, I'm getting like, uh, I'm almost wondering if I'm not looking deep enough. If like everybody's, I should, shouldn't say everybody, but I think a lot of people have seen the movie Seven, right? You know, and there's the Seven Deadly Sins, and each person. You've never seen Seven? I've seen like trailer tidbits. Oh not my like, God. I've never said. Okay, well, movie. anyhow, th uh, then I won't go any further just in case we do end up watching that because it's a classic. <laughs> it is. It's but a good if, movie. If, if, you've, if you've seen Seven, you'll kind of know what I'm getting at with each individual and the different passings. And I'm wondering if it's that now. Uh, again, forgive me, I've been pretty open here that I wasn't much into reading when I was younger still now I absorb information visually so I never got into the Edgar Allan Poe books or anything like that or some of these classics that they're referencing so I don't know the the stories that they're referencing so I'm wondering oh, is there something I'm missing <laughs> like a connection like a pattern or something or is it just you know classic old cool. stories that they're kind of um, weaving into each one of the, the child's passing I think I've gotten kind of the deal uh, or the uh, you know, the idea that at some point Roderick and Madeline, although it sounds like more like just Roderick and not Madeline, made a deal with the devil, you know, that you, your kids had to go first. Um, you know, the, the thing that I found very interesting uh, about this, though, is everybody would have had made their own deal. And I, I think it's interesting that Arthur Pym brought up the photos of her being there throughout influential times in history. However, and look, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they thought of this. However, uh, all those famous people didn't all lose all their kids, right? So maybe they made different deals, but this, different the deals, suggestion course, is yeah. that it was like all these wildly successful people, um, she was there somehow. Maybe it's only when you're but, at the end, like Ron is at the end. What I'm yeah. also wondering, though, is if this was kind of you know, the suggestion that all those other people are in, in the same, like, line morally as, as Roderick <laughs> yeah. and Fortunato. So, I, 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 you know, part of me felt nice like, okay, it was just showing nice successful people and people who were wildly rich and popular um, or, or wealthy, or if that was also a suggestion that those people are of the same moral fiber as Roderick, which... Interesting, right? But in any regard, that was really cool. Obviously, again, um, Tamerlane's performances are just really next level. Um, you know, it's interesting because had she not passed, had she not gone home, I mean, her career would have been, although Fortunato seems like they would have had lawyers, uh, you know, and this one probably would have came in and said, you know, she's just lost, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, four of her four brothers, brothers and sisters yeah. within a week to tragic accidents. She had a breakdown. She's seeking rehab. Uh, our boy Pim would have got what her out on the other side. What are you doing? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean the the fact that the the address, the old house, the, you know, the story about Pim traveling the globe that we got. I yeah, mean, that was pretty cool. There's so much going on. I'm almost starting to believe it, and and this might be like super out in left field. And again, maybe I'm digging too far. I kinda, I almost feel like Pim's character isn't real anymore. You know? Hey, the he went to the Ultima Thule. The story about. Pim and whatever I, I I and I know this like I'm trying not to like again overthink but something to me is off with Pim he's too powerful he's too good he's too this he did this thing around the globe something's off about Pim uh, I might be totally wrong but I don't know the writing on this show the acting everything just incredible at least I didn't leave this particular episode feeling as <laughs> dirty as I did the last one. Again, not 100% sure why, but uh, crazy in any regard. Yeah, no, this was a, another solid outing by Mike Flanagan, Rebecca, for your writing, of course. Uh, the, I don't think we need to worry about the cast, obviously, at this point, because they just knock it out of the park. Mm -hmm. I will say, I think uh, it should be touched upon here a little bit. I think, I think Will gets a little... Uh, He's a good guy, at least what they've portrayed so far. If I'm missing anything, right? If he has built, done anything <laughs> wrong? No, so it's, far. no, no. It seems like Mr. Built, a uh, cross between Jeremy Renner and Pat McAfee, has done nothing wrong at all. <laughs> no, I he, I feel like uh, Madeline kind of went hard on him. That is why he wants him to. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Tamerlane yes. went hard on him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But that Tamerlane and Will's 
relationship is different than what Madeline went hard on him for. Mm, yep. But hey, I get it. You know, some people are going to feel that way. Some people aren't going to feel that way at the end of the day. I just feel like Will kind of got picked on a little too hard, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, this is fiction. Yeah. So, well, he's he's just another many, uh, or, or uh, he's just another line in the many victims of the the kids of Usher the, the and, kids and, of Usher. and the company. Exactly. Thank he's you. just another guy being kind of bowled over by it. Well, I mean, uh, they, maybe, maybe not. But at the same time, it, it, again, you know, at least we know nothing of death as well. I mean, we have two episodes left. Who knows? But I feel pretty confident well, that Will is not going to get touched by Berna. No. Uh, same with Juno. I feel like Juno is part of that. Well, uh, the she survives that if mic stand makes to the it, head. Yeah. Makes it out of the mic stand to the head. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far, they didn't show it. But it's, so it's, it's I'm the assuming true. The children is the pattern, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Morella, collateral Morella survived. Leo's boyfriend survived. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, but Morella is like getting put comatose like every That's yeah from, and then yeah, well, frodrick's uh <laughs> i like how we call him frodrick Dude, well he's a well, piece he, of that trash that guy doesn't yeah. be, deserve to be called anything other yeah than... you're fucking just trash he's just trash at the end and i know he's hurt but going uh in an unmoral he's becoming very unhinged yes very unhinged right. i get your wife idea Everyone lies to everyone at some point, but oh, oh hey, well, we need to. Uh, I'm gonna inflict death on you. Well, and then I don't Come know on. if Bilt will have anything for his name after because remember, the, the prenup he only gets the close up of, on his back if, if that. that is what yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was a Pym special. Yeah. But wow. I do really enjoy how this writing is because you know, you get you're getting like a whirlwind of everything that they're touching on. And I think even with kind of like uh, the photos from Pim, like I enjoyed that actually a lot yeah. that it was nice because it brings you all the way back in history. Yeah. 1901. Yeah, and it brings you in. Was the, the, the yeah, it, world. It's yeah. crazy on how they, they uh, yeah. written that in to work so well. And to your point, Dave, I don't, I think Pim is exactly uh, a person weird think, vibes about but him. I'm telling you, with the way that Mike and uh, the crew write this, I'm not. I'm still going to leave that open to maybe it could be because I'm wondering if this whole thing's even real at the end of the day. I mean, from a uh, inside the story, not mm. like obviously oh, yeah. it's fiction, right? It's just but you know, I'm just saying inside the story if it's really all the, the difficulty but I have with Mike. So it's probably happening. The difficulty <laughs> I have with Pim's character, and I think, look, I understand defense attorneys have their jobs, right? But I think we can all agree that it, it takes a certain type of individual to be an attorney and year after year after year essentially cover up for other people's objection terribly uh, just crooked morals, right? Mm -hmm. Like at some point, Family look, I, I get, yeah, you no. know, look, you're making a ton of money as a lawyer and it's your job to defend people. But, you know, oh, is that somebody that you call when you've, you know, 86 to you know a guest for the evening oh no that'd be too boring for yeah me. so it's suggested oh God, that yeah. pim has done a lot of really yeah. sketchy stuff and i think his you know he his character is so intriguing and he's such like hardcore and look they give you look they, nobody doesn't like mark hamill right yeah but at the same time like everything that this family is doing and listen to us sit here and talk about how sketchy this family are how morally void the family is, you know, and Inverna's coming and, you know, giving them, you know, all what they have coming. But it's just like, it's so sketchy just all the way across the board. And, it, you know, at the at the center of it all is Pim covering it up and defending them for years and years and years and years and years. And I just think that there's more to Pim's character than just the family lawyer. Well, there definitely will be because Lucy's going to need somebody to help her run the operation when everybody's gone. Yep. So maybe that'll be the last <laughs> yeah, That's what and I was hey, going to say, that she's going to get know, all of it. And it's funny because I asked for more Madeline. I feel like that was a good amount. Now I want more because, <laughs> again, <laughs> Madeline, well, I want more uh, because Madeline... Everyone's got to be. <laughs> Madeline, though, is like, I feel like the centerpiece to it all because, again, it goes back to she wants to live yep. forever. And now I know she made some kind of hints to yep. the. Because she was always pushing Roddy early on. Yeah, she, yep. she was and always she's, pushing him. She's been the, the ground for everything. So yep. I, I want to see a little bit more because now that you mentioned that, where we got to see her see Verna and then gone. Mm -hmm. Give me more Madeline right now because I want to see how that story's going to turn out because I feel like we know everyone's fate. Oh, yeah. For the most part. 
except really, really Madeline. You know, you know I think yes. another really powerful thing about that scene with uh, Madeline and Verna is she thinks Roderick is crazy. You know, he's saying he's got his heart issue, his dementia issue, he's losing it. You know, pull but your head out know? of your pull your head yeah. out of your ass. And then poof. But she sees her in person and poof, and she's gone. So now does she question whether she's crazy? Or does she have oh, to come no, to no. terms? No, no, no. She she was saying because Roderick wouldn't say that it was her. That it was she, Madeline right, was right. So, right. so, I mean, so this was just further that proof for Madeline. Saw her and like reached yeah, out. Yeah, this is further proof, proof from for Madeline. Yeah, she already knew. Yeah. So there we go. We Thank got you, six Samantha. On. Oh, we got we, two we need, more. Uh, two we need more to go. Her, Mike, give her only two more episodes. I'm so sad. I have that feeling of dread when you know something good is coming to an end. Answer. You gotta know how it ends. We gotta know things must come. All good things must come to an end. Let's get a Bev spinoff mixed with some of uh, Tamerlane. <laughs> well, I want to see want. some more built videos. So for <laughs> Diamond Dan, <laughs> Afton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.